Welcome back to High School Sports Zone. We've got more girls soccer highlights for you now, this time from the AA division, where Woodruff got off to a tough start to the regular season. They lost or drew their first four games of the year, but found a way in the last two games of the regular season to pull out two victories, which propelled them into the semifinals where they'd meet up with Lua Riel. Woodruff met Louis Riel in the Senior Girls AA Soccer Semifinals. Both teams entered on a two-game winning streak. Woodruff started the game off with a shot by number 10, Wong, which Louis Riel's goalkeeper, Maxwell, easily saved. Louis Riel's Bianco got the first goal of the game, kicking the ball into the bottom left corner after a corner kick. 1-0 Louis Riel. Louis Riel's number 20, Orlin, had a breakaway chance, but Woodruff's goalkeeper, Jenny, kicked the ball away to end the scoring chance. Woodruff's number 5, Raypaw, had her first chance of the game, but missed when she kicked the ball wide to the right. 1-0 Louis Riel. Louis Riel's number 5, Provost, had an opportunity to add one more goal to their lead, but missed when she kicked the ball wide of the net. 1-0 Louis Riel. Louis Riel's goalkeeper, Maxwell, made an easy and important save when Woodruff's number 6, Wong, tried to tie the game up at one. Louis Riel's Bianco had another great chance but collided with the defense which caused a free kick. Louis Riel's Provost took the free kick but got denied by Woodruff's goalkeeper. Woodruff had a great chance to tie the game up nearing the end of the game but Maxwell made a great save. Louis Riel's number 11, Ball, had a breakaway but Woodruff's goalkeeper ran out and dove to save the ball. Once again, Ball had a breakaway but this time she scored. The final score came out to 2-0 for Louis Riel. Louis Riel's victory gave them a three-game winning streak. For High School Sports Zone, I'm Justin Genter. Louis Riel looked to defend their crown in a rematch of last season's Girls AA Soccer Championship when they took on Kareen Wilson. The first opportunity in this one came from Kareen Wilson with number six Kenzie Hoffman striking the post. Number four Dakota Chamberlain almost got Kareen Wilson the goal as her volley just missed the net wide. Louis Riel's goalkeeper Rebecca Maxwell was able to keep it a 0-0 game with her save against number 6 Kenzie Hoffman. Rebecca Maxwell again stepping up as she contested the Kareen Wilson offense getting the save. Start of the second half, Kareen Wilson's number 22 Lauren Ball got the chance off the stretch pass but couldn't finish for the goal. Number 5 Sydney Provost had Louis Riel's best chance yet when she tried to pick the top right corner but was saved by Keza Massey. Number 22, Lauren Ball, had another quality scoring chance for Kareen Wilson off her spinning kick, but goalkeeper Maxwell was right there for another stop. Kareen Wilson goalkeeper Kay Zamasi had to get active with an impressive save from a Louis Real kick from the right side. Off a defensive scramble from Kareen Wilson, Kay Zamasi was forced to smack away the ball. Louis Real with some momentum now, number 11, Caitlin Ball, raced down the left side before her shot on net that was caught by Kayla Massey. On to overtime we go now and less than a minute in, number 12, Sydney Switzer shoots from afar and hits top left corner, 1-0 for Kareen Wilson. With no other goals scored in OT, Kareen Wilson defeats the Real 1-0 to win the Senior Girls AA Championship. For High School Sports Zone, I'm Keenan Kreller. We'll take a look at boys lacrosse now and in the AAA playoffs we're down to the three top teams left. In the semifinal we have Mother Teresa meeting up with St. FX and there's not a lot between these two schools. It'd likely be a one or two goal game in this semifinal matchup to see who gets to go on to the championship to face South Carlton. Mother Teresa was riding a four game winning streak when they faced off against St. Francis Xavier in the boys AAA lacrosse semifinals. Early in the game, Mother Teresa's number 21 Tate found number 24 Keith right beside the net, who was able to beat the goaltender, making it 1 0 for Mother Teresa. Shortly after, Tate was able to score a goal of his own after taking a shot from far outside, making it 2 0 for Mother Teresa. Two minutes later, Titans number 9 Davis picked up a loose ball and drove towards the net and beat the goaltender, making it 3 0 for Mother Teresa. Tate scored his second goal of the game by doing the same as his first goal by firing a ball from far outside, making it 4-0 for Mother Teresa. Right before halftime, St. Francis Xavier's number 22 Castleman received a pass in front of the net and beat the goaltender to cut the lead to 4-1 at halftime. Teammate number 5 Morelli was able to feed number 20 Billis with a one-timer pass for his second goal of the game, making it 4-3 for Mother Teresa. St. Francis Xavier number 11 Rinisic found teammate number 22 Castleman for his second goal of the game to tie the game up at 4. Ten minutes later, Mother Teresa's number 19, Thompson, was on the left side of the net and was able to beat the goaltender to give Mother Teresa a 5-4 lead. 
teammate number 9 Davis scored his second goal of the game by firing a shot that bounced off the ground and in to make it 6-4 Mother Teresa. With under a minute left, St. Francis Xavier's number 4 Mew found teammate number 5 Morelli all alone in front of the net who beat the goaltender, cutting the lead to 6-5. Mother Teresa extended their winning streak to five games and will play South Carlton in the championship. South Carlton hoped to cap off a perfect season when they faced off against Mother Teresa in the boys' AAA lacrosse championship. In the first half, South Carlton's number eight, Sloan, took a shot from far outside that beat the goaltender, making it 1-0 for South Carlton early. Storm's number 77, the Chuck, found a streaking number 30, Grennan, through the middle and who scored, making it 2-0 for South Carlton. Right before halftime, South Carlton's number 30, Grennan, found number 11, Johnson, right beside the net and made a beautiful stretch pass to make it 3 nothing at halftime. Early in the second half, Mother Teresa's number 21, Tate, from behind the net, found number 24, Keith, out in front to cut the lead down to 3-1. to one. Storm's number 30, Grennan, later scored his second goal when he blew by the defense and beat the goaltender short side to make it 4-1. Teammate number 96, Johnson, picked up a loose ball right in front of the net and beat the goaltender to make it 5-1 for South Carlton. Shortly after, Storm's number 11, Johnson, scored his second goal of the game when he received a one-timer pass, making it 6-1 for South Carlton. Two minutes later, teammate number 77, the Chuck, was able to deke around three defenders and then beat the goaltender, making it 7-1 for South Carlton. Titans number 9, Davis, was able to split through the defenders and fire at home, making it 7-2 for South Carlton. Teammate number 19 was able to find number 15, Spinella, right beside the net for a goal, cutting the lead down to 7-3. A few minutes later, Mother Teresa's number 9 Davis scored a second goal of the game after firing a low shot to come within three of South Carlton at 7-4. South Carlton's number 8 Sloan off the next faceoff scored a second goal from a shot far outside. South Carlton won 8-4 and won the AAA Boys Championship going undefeated on the season. For High School Sports Zone, I'm Kyle Waddell. We continue on boys across. We're into the playoffs in the single A, double A division as well, where John McRae finds themselves in a semifinal, an odd position for a team that went two and six on the regular season to be. They'd be meeting up with Osgood, and John McRae would have to be feeling pretty good about their chances. They actually beat Osgood handily, nine to five during the regular season, and they look for a similar result to put themselves in the championship matchup. In boys single A, double A lacrosse, Osgood is riding a two game winning streak when they took on John McRae in the semifinals. In the first half, John McRae's number 19 Potter found teammate number 28 Gordon cutting in towards the middle of the field and fired it past the goaltender, making it 1 0 for John McRae. Osgood's number 20 Melvin found teammate number 98 McLaurin later on for a one timer, tying the game at 1. Bulldogs number 16 Mercier a few minutes later came in from the right side and fired it past the crowd to give his team a 2 1 lead. Five minutes later, Panthers number 2 McKay was able to get a shot off that bounced off the ground and passed the goaltender, tying the game at 2. Two minutes later, McLaurin of Osgood was able to cut around the defender and score his second goal of the game, giving his school a 3-2 lead. John McRae's number 13, Biden, shortly after, was able to blast through the middle of the offensive zone and beat the goaltender, tying the game at 3. Osgood's number 7, Gallagher, from behind the net, found teammate number 25, Holmes, coming towards the net and scored, giving Osgood a 4-3 lead. A minute later, teammate number 44, McVie, received a pass on the run and beat the goaltender, extending the lead to 5-3. Right before halftime, Panthers number 7 Gallagher picked up the loose ball in front of the net and scored, giving his team a 6-3 lead at halftime. In the second half, Osgood's number 4 Morrison took a shot that went through a sea of bodies and passed the goaltender, making it 7-3 for Osgood. John McRae's number 24 Williams was able to get around two defenders and buried the ball in the back of the net, cutting Osgood's lead to 7-4. Bulldogs number 28 Gordon was able to quickly deliver a pass to number 13 Biden, who scored his second goal of the game cutting the lead to 8-5. Right before the end of the game, Osgood's number 25 Holmes scored his second goal of the game after spinning around and getting by all the defenders to make it 9-5. Osgood pushed their winning streak to three games and will play Franco Cite in the championship. For High School Sports Zone, I'm Kyle Waddell. After their offense came alive in the semifinals, Osgood hoped their goal scoring would continue when they met Franco Cite in single A, double A boys lacrosse championship. Osgood's number 20, Peyton, swung and scored the first goal of the game. Osgood in the lead, 1-0. Funko Cite's number 12, Gradin, had a chance to tie the game, but shortly after, Osgood's goalie saved the ball. Funko Cite's number 20, Monahan, scored to tie the game at one apiece. Osgood went back in front when number 2, McKay, caught the pass in front of the net and snagged it in. 2-1 for Osgood.
Not even a minute later, Osgood's number 98, Sam, gave Osgood a two-goal lead, 3-1. to one. Osgood was on a scoring streak as number 20, Peyton, received a pass in front of the net and swung it in. 4-1, to one, Osgood. Funko Cite's number 16, Gagne, then scored to cut their deficit in half as they trailed 4-2. to two. Osgood's Peyton swung and hit the post bar, but the ball deflected into the net, 5-2 to two for Osgood. Funko Cite's Gagne got a second goal of the game, and Funko Cite is now trailing 5-3. to three. Osgood's Sam scored a second goal of the game to close out the scoring as Osgood won the boys' single-A, double-A lacrosse championship with a 6-3 to three victory. For High School Sports Zone, I'm Justin Genscher. We'll have playoff action and girls rugby from both the AAA and single-A, double-A divisions. After the break, you're on High School Sports Zone.